We have indeed, look at everyone, these wildebeest have just carved and that one on the right is a brand new born. It, look at that, it's still uneasy on its legs. Oh, look, there we go. You can see the umbilical cord. We must have missed the birth by a few minutes. Look at that, trying to learn how to move and use its legs. Look at that. <laughs> that is wonderful. There's another little calf lying in front of the female in the middle of the screen now. But that little one, look at that. Oh, this is wonderful. Now, there are at least three or four little calves around. And they all would have been born this week. Um, very, very recently. But that one was born a few minutes ago. Maybe, I would say probably... 15 to 20 minutes ago isn't that incredible a female has been cleaning it trying to get rid of the, the that scent of the of the placenta and that that was on there make sure it's all cleaned off um, but they actually don't smell very bad and it's one of the ways that they avoid predators um, that smell isn't strong at all and also the Wildebeest are clever. They've come out onto the clearings to give birth so that they can see if there's any danger coming and potentially protect those little calves very, very well while they're out in the open. But isn't it amazing how very soon after birth those little wildebeest calves are able to to um, get up and move around and look at that one suckling at the moment. The other one's just lying down, the one to the right. But you can see that other one to the right is a bit older. Um, the, the skin isn't as dark as the one on the left. The other one look, just appears dark because um, because it was just born. So it's still very wet. Whereas the one on the right is a little, little bit more of a brownish coloration. This is really, really special. And yeah, first for us for this season, the first um, wildebeest calves. So that's very, very nice. Now, there hasn't been too much else moving around through these clearings. But uh, this is just, this is enough. This is such a wonderful surprise. Uh, Cindy, you wanted to know if wildebeest ever have twins. Um, Cindy, I'm, I'm not sure, but I've never seen a wildebeest give birth to twins. Um, I, I mean... <sighs> It could possibly happen. I, I doubt it, though. I, I doubt it, but it could possibly happen, Cindy, but I've never seen it. I've never seen it in the wild, so I'm not sure. Um, just going to check in the book quickly if they have got any record of it. Um, but these, some of these little mammal books don't give in-depth um, information about wildebeest, and I doubt they'd give anything anything about that and so Cindy in most books and and the one that I've got here the mammal book it says that they only give birth to a single calf so as I said I've never seen it there might be a possibility but I don't th I don't think so I think all these antelope species it's one calf and that's it that they can look after one animal out here that can potentially give birth to twins is elephant Bree, you want to know how long does it take these baby wildebeest to get up and stand and start running around? So literally five, five, maybe ten minutes. Very, very quick. Very, very, very quick. And they have to because if not, that will be easy. That will be easy 
prey for the predators so they need to get up and move around very very quickly Stephanie you wanted to know the other ones laying down are they potentially going to give birth soon um, Stephanie I'm not sure it could be a I mean there could definitely be a, a chance of that happening just trying to have a good look I mean wouldn't it be wonderful to see a live birth